Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Boris FX, and today I'm going to show you how to stabilize some tricky 360 footage with Mocha VR running inside of Adobe After Effects. I'll also use Continuum's VR Reorient effect to reposition our view for the optimal immersive 360 experience. So here's our original clip in a 360 view. This footage was shot with the Yi Halo camera and stitched using Google Jump. While the footage quality looks good, you can see the stitched result is both upside down due to how the drone was flying, and it's very hard to watch due to the camera shake and drone's movement. And here's after using Mocha VR. All the camera movement is smoothed out, and we have repositioned the camera view so that we are following the action of the shot. Mocha VR can easily stabilize 360 drone footage in stereo or mono, no matter how difficult the footage looks. Mocha's planar tracker means no 3D camera tracking is necessary to solve difficult shots. Things like snow, rain, or motion blur can throw off most tracking software. With Mocha's planar tracking, we can simply find the best texture to track and use that to drive our stabilization. This means we can quickly solve our shot without having to track unnecessary data or leave After Effects. So let's get started. We are using a proxy so that we can track quickly before we replace our footage with the full resolution. Proxies are important for 360 post because they save you time. In this case, I'm using DNX as an intermediate format. While compressed MP4s are useful for playback, they are not good for post, especially for tracking. Thankfully, After Effects has a simple proxy workflow where we can point the source to a lower res file for speed. Simply right-click your source footage and either create a proxy or point to your proxy file. I apply my Mocha VR plugin and adjust the views to stereo top and bottom. For an extra speed boost, since this is 6K footage, I can switch to quarter res and track faster. If I notice any tracking issues, I can simply switch back to half or full resolution. Then I hit the Launch Mocha button. I can safely ignore the warning about not tracking in full resolution because even at quarter res, there's a lot of texture to track. This shot is a challenge because it's almost all white due to the snow, the drone is shaking, and it's actively snowing. But we are able to track this because of the power of planar tracking. Mocha's planar tracker is a texture tracker, so we will simply draw an X line around a clean part of this shot. In this case, the drone operator is here in the shot and will make a good tracking target even though they are behind the viewer. We hit track forwards. If we click on the track both views option on our tracker, we are actually tracking the stereo left and right eye at the same time. As the operator eventually gets so small that tracking them becomes impractical, I can pause my track and track the surrounding crevasse to add more texture to my track. This is an important workflow in Mocha. It's vital to adapt as your track progresses to grab onto similarly moving texture when one texture becomes unusable. Once our track is complete, we can double check that our tracking data is good by aligning the surface tool and checking the left and right views. The reorient module relies on tracking data, so make sure that your track is rock solid. Now we can click the reorient module. We make sure our horizon alignment tools are checked and we align them to the curve of the horizon line. We can do this by clicking and dragging the horizon tool, or we can use the manual controls below to adjust the numbers and align the horizon tool that way. After we have visually adjusted the horizon tool to the horizon line, we can turn the tool off and just like that our shot has been stabilized, and it would be easier to watch in a VR headset. Now we save and close Mocha, and then in our host we can check the checkbox to render our effect and use the drop down to select the reorient module. I like to pre-compose layers of added effects to and after effects just to make sure that we don't get any effect conflictions. When you pre-compose, it's important to move all attributes into the new composition. We can apply a reorient filter to adjust our view even further. I personally like using the Continuum VR reorient effect as it is less prone to the GPU errors that I get when using Adobe's Rotate Sphere effect. You can learn more about the five Continuum VR filters here on BorisFX.com. Here I'll simply adjust the values to change our camera view. I want to make sure we follow the action of the shot, and from here I can render my shot. So here's our before, 
and you can see the footage is both upside down due to how the drone is flying and it's hard to watch due to the shake and here's our after the camera movement is smoothed out and we have repositioned the camera so that we are following the action of the shot and we've done all this despite the raindrops on the lens special thanks to duct tape then beer for this footage you can find them at www.ducttapethenbeer.com. If you have any questions, you can find us online at www.boriseffects.com.